So, let's all relax, take a deep breath. Let's chill out. We've had some fun. That's the last good drill to end on right there for that section. Uh, we're going to be talking about some things that have to do with precision marksmanship. Specifically, we're going to talk about zeroing our rifles. But first of all, I think we need to understand this. With a handgun or with a rifle, sighting the gun or the place you want to hit is not the most important thing. When you're lining your handgun sights up, you know, equal height and equal light, and you're trying to put it on a small target, you're trying to get that bullet to go right where you want it, that's not most important. The most important thing you can do when trying to get that type of accuracy is to be able to engage your trigger without disrupting the gun. So if I set a gun in a vise and was unable to move it by my actions, I'm going to reach over with some type of mechanical device that would pull the, stri the trigger straight and true to the rear. The bullet's going to go true, right? Because that mechanism is not negatively influencing that rifle. Everybody understand what I'm saying? That makes sense? Does everybody watch Mythbusters? Anybody seen that? Anytime they do a firearms test, that's what they do. They put the gun in a vise, and it has a mechanical lever, and they push the button, and the mechanical lever pulls the trigger to the rear. So in, in my mind, I try to set myself up as I want to be that vice, and I want to I want to be able to operate the weapon without negatively influencing the sight picture that it has. With a handgun or with a rifle. If I have a handgun up and I'm concentrating on the sights and concentrating on the sights, and my trigger pull causes the gun to do that, it doesn't matter where my sights mm -hmm. were, right? It doesn't matter. All that effort I put into sight and lined them up correctly is, is not going to do me any good. Just as a general rule of thumb, the trigger should end up somewhere in the middle of the base, the pad right here, of your first, between your uh, knuckle and the end of your finger. So the first pad, about the center of your first, the first pad is where I put it. Also, another thing that I do, and they work for you, so you may want to try, is instead of pulling the trigger with my finger like this, see how all the old knuckles are out there? I take one of those knuckles out of the equation to make my finger like this. So when I pull the trigger, I pull it like this. So you take one of the knuckles out of the equation, plus you're pulling the trigger straight and true to the rear. So we'll work on that when we get up here uh, with our triggers. We want to pull the trigger straight and true to the rear. So trigger pull, straight and true to the rear. Does anybody here golf? I did one time. A couple of golfers. <laughs> Too hard for you to like it? No, I got drunk and wrecked the golf cart. <laughs> and guy ended up in the hospital with knee surgery. Oh, what about playing softball? You guys play softball? Fisherman? Somebody. Bait casting reel? Fisherman? Yeah. I said yeah. What about a tennis swing? You guys play tennis? Tennis? Get us a kiss. Follow through important to you? Sure. It does. I just did it for shits and games. Okay, well, it don't matter. <laughs> He's got like the golf in this thing. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> just say yes. If you throw a bait casting reel and you don't keep your thumb on the reel and you don't follow through with your cast, that becomes a what they call a bird's nest, and you have to stop and pick it out. If you don't follow through in your golf swing, where's your ball go? Not the way you want it to, right? If you don't follow through with a baseball bat. Bowling. What happens? Bowling, if you don't follow through with your bowling. You play a pool. <laughs> Most everything in life where you engage a tool to do something else, you have to have some follow through in order to get the end result that you're looking for. So, Trigger pull is the same way. And follow through for a rifle or a handgun is this. It's to pull the trigger. You got an empty handgun on you? Can you make me one empty? Thank you, see, please. Yes, sir. So, everybody can see the trigger in my finger, right? So, proper, proper follow through would be to pull this slow and steady to the rear. The trigger's going to fall about right there. And now I'm holding the trigger to the rear. I talked with some of you guys about this this morning when you all were zeroing. Josh, you're going to cycle with him. My finger's still to the rear, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to let it back out. Listen. That's trigger reset. That tells me I can feel it and hear it. But the trigger is completely ready to go back the other way. There's no reason for me to come out to here if I don't want to or have to because it's ready to go right there. So slow, smooth press to the rear. Hold it to the rear. Let the gun settle, and now I'm ready to come back out for another shot. It resets. I reacquire my target. I'm ready to pull the trigger again. Everybody good on that? Trigger, follow through, and reset. Works the same with the handgun as it does with a rifle. I'm up on target. I'm making my trigger pull. The trigger breaks. The gun goes off. The gun recoils. My fingers to the rear. The gun settles. 
Now I can ease back off the trigger until trigger reset, and I'm ready to set up my next shot. Now you all realize he's talking about precision shots here. We're not talking about defensive accuracy. We're talking about precision shots. Yep. All right. Big difference. So when you're doing a zero on your rifle, you get all the time in the world to do it. Preferably, you pick a day when it's not too hot, not too cold. You got some shade. Bring lots of water with you. It's a process. The medical field is a practice, isn't it? It's a practice, not right? science. They're continually practicing medicine on you. And with the zero, it's a process that you must go through. And if you want to get one right and make it as tight as possible, which is what I suggest because the tighter I make my zero, the more freedom it allows me to human error. It's the real deal, you know, when I'm under duress.